Using Reality Composer Pro, you can build particle effects such as rain, confetti, fire, and fireworks for your vision OS and Swift UI projects. We can create the effects or animations in two ways. We can use Reality Composer Pro to build the effects as a separate application. After everything is done, you can export the file as USDZ or you can load the Reality Composer Pro file in Xcode with a reality view. Another way is to create a Vision OS project so that we can embed it in the project itself. You can see here we have Vision OS selected as the project. Let's click Next. Let's call it Eye Particles. With the initial scene, let's leave it as a window. You can select Volume, but I just want to show you how the particles work. Then we leave the immersive space as none. Then let's click Next and save it in the location. Once you create the Vision OS project, we go to the Project Navigator. Over here, you can see we have packages. Let's expand this folder. So here we have the Reality Kit content as a package. Under the Sources folder, we have Reality Content. In the Reality Content folder, we have two separate files. Reality Content.RK Assets. Then we have the Reality Content file. So once you use Reality Composer Pro to, for example, make 3D models for your Vision OS project, you can use this file to load them into the project. You can see here, we also have this file, package.realitycomposerpro. As I told you earlier, we can create this as a separate file, but here you can see we have it embedded in the Vision OS project. On the top right, we have an option to open the file in Reality Composer Pro. So let's click that. It is opened in my external window, so I will minimize Xcode and bring it here. So there are two ways we can add the particle effect in Reality Composer Pro. We can go to the bottom part of the hierarchy pane. You can see we have a plus icon here. Let's click that and select the option Particle Emitter. By going to the right hand side, we have the inspector. So with a single click, we have added a particle emitter to the scene. To preview the emitter, we go to the top and click the play button. So this is the default particle emission that is added to the scene. Emitter particles consist of two layers. Under particle emitter, you can see we have the emitter, then we have particles. Under the emitter tab, we can modify the whole particle emission. And under the Particles tab, we can modify the individual particles. On the top right of the Particles tab, you can see we have this grid icon. This is very confusing. It is quite difficult to know what it does. Once we click that, you can see we have different options. So we can change this to, for example, fireworks. And that creates a beautiful fireworks effect. We can select another option as well. So this is the first option of adding particle effects to the scene. Let's go to the hierarchy panel and delete it. Another way to add particles to the scene is to add them as components. So let's add an object. For example, let's select this flask. Once you add an object to the scene, you go to the bottom part of the inspector and click add component. Then we scroll down and select particle emitter. To preview the particle emitter, we click the play icon. After doing that, we can, for example, go to the grid button and change it to, for example, fireworks. And that creates this beautiful fireworks effect. We can also change it to different ones like impact or magic. Rain. snow and spark let's change it back to fireworks so once you are happy with a particular particle effect we can export it as usdc 
So to export the particle effect as USDZ and load it into the SwiftUI project, we go to File, Export. Let's leave the name as seen and click Export. So I'll go to the location where I saved it. You can see it is over here and it has the extension USDZ. Exporting the file as USDZ is very useful. For example, you can load this file into a separate Vision OS and SwiftUI project. But to use this USD file in our Vision OS project, you don't need to do anything at all. Let's go back to Reality Composer Pro. All we need to do is to go to File and Save. Once you save this file, it becomes automatically available in the Vision OS project. To prove that, let's go back to Xcode. Over here, you can see this is the same file we opened in Reality Composer Pro and added the particle effect. So since we saved the particle effect in Reality Composer Pro, it becomes automatically available in contentview.swift. So let's wait for the preview. You can see we have it over here. So this is all I have for you in this video. I showed you how to create particle effects such as rain, confetti, fire and fireworks using Reality Composer Pro and how to save it so that it becomes automatically available in your Vision OS and SwiftUI project. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to this channel and wait for the next. Thanks for watching this video.